All right, y'all, this is my 2020 Alumacraft 1540 with a Mercury 25 four stroke Bigfoot on it. We're about uh, 18 minutes before sunrise. Uh, I've been wanting to put exactly one gallon in it and run till I run out just to get my miles per gallon. So, uh, Go ahead and uh, get started with that and come back to y'all and show y'all some of my uh, upgrades, modifications, and all that and show y'all how she runs. Uh, there's a little more light out. All right, y'all. I'm out here in Lake Pontchartrain in southeast Louisiana. It's a 630 square mile lake uh 40 miles uh long and 24 miles wide it's a uh, brackish water it does connect directly to um the gulf of mexico through other bodies of water but uh went ahead and A little mile per gallon test. I put one gallon in my little small tank. See what I can get. And if y'all can see that there, uh, 12.8 when she ran out. Uh, average speed 29 miles an hour. Max speed 31.7. So I guess that's not too bad. Almost 13 miles per gallon no gear in the boat but some fishing poles and tackle wouldn't have made much of a difference anyway show y'all a little bit of what i've done to it got this deck here uh it's aluminum uh but a honeycomb in uh in between two sheets of aluminum it weighs 18 pounds uh not counting the angle i added all the way around and i made the floor out of the same material uh i believe it weighs 20. uh went ahead and i y'all can see this Had me a 30 inch light bar uh forget how many lumens i want to say 5,500 lumens with a beam distance of 4,330 feet so damn near a mile oh and it's also got amber LEDs also and my trolling motor mount right there good connection for my trolling motor All I gotta do is pull these pins on the deck. It'll raise up. And I plan on cutting out a hatch right here for some extra storage. I cut, cut out a hatch on my center seat for my batteries onboard two bank charger fuse box relays and it got me a Garmin uh, CV uh, striker CV5 I believe is the model uh, I'd show y'all how it works but uh this lake is a pretty much featureless bottom so maybe well when i get back inland i could give y'all a look at how well this works pretty happy with it for the price let me a little switch panel right here and the reason i got this right here is because there's nowhere to really mount this on a little john boat without you know it slide under the deck getting ripped off or me hitting it but it stands on this 
it ain't going nowhere. And like I mentioned before, Mercury 20, 24, uh, 25 horsepower, four stroke, big foot. Uh, got me some wake lights that light up way behind me at night. It's also good for when I'm in the swamp, in the marsh at night. And also, I've got LED strips, green, all the way down each side. And they light up way out. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, still got my interior lighting. I need to install. I've got it. Install my bilge. Um, still some more I need to do. A little of time. But uh, so far it's not a, not a bad little setup. Alright y'all, I'm fixing to head back in. And give y'all a little preview of how she runs uh, but I think I'm gonna come back to y'all when I get in so those of you from other parts of the country or even other parts of Louisiana can get a nice little scenic view of some swamps on the way in let's get it first pull every time I'll give y'all a little preview of the some a little bit of swamp. The water's extremely low right now because of the wind we've been having, or else I'd be able to bring you way up in there. It's just too shallow and too dangerous to even attempt it. As you can see, all the all the stumps, all the cypress trees. <laughs> 